Hi everyone, welcome back to my humble backyard. Today I'm gonna show you another East Indian recipe that's been passed down to us through our ancestors that made its way down to the Caribbean and Guyana. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. It's one of the most versatile ingredients that we can use in our cuisines in traditional ways. It's been used in savory snacks and all sorts of things, soups and, and throughout the whole entire world, people know about this ingredient. It's split peas, also known as dal. And I'm gonna show you our recipe for kitchery. Follow along and I'll show you exactly how we do it. Thank you for joining me on Caribbean Ducks and today I'm gonna introduce you guys to a nice, simple and easy, delicious, tasty recipe right from my backyard. Hope you guys enjoy, continue to watch to the end. Kitchery with fried fish and avocado. We're gonna start with one cup of this split peas or dal that we're gonna wash and let soak in water for about five hours before we use it. Then we're gonna go to the garden and get some fresh stuff. The little ones are helping. Red pepper. Some turmeric, buddy. Mm -hmm. you see the turmeric here? Look. I you find it, Daddy. Yeah. It can look a like carrots, Dad. Turmeric. Turmeric. Yeah. I got some right here. I'm gonna okay. wash it up. You need to wash your plant. And then I'm gonna show everybody. There it is guys, another wonderful, gorgeous day in South Florida in my backyard. Gonna show you guys a little sneak peek of my backyard of what real tranquility looks like. This is a place if you wanna meditate, to come to, to relax. This is my backyard with all my fruit trees. You guys look out for one of my videos that I'm gonna be posting soon with all my fruit trees. The fruits are not in season, it's actually winter right now. But I'm gonna give you an update on the fruits and then I'm gonna show you another video when they're in bearing season. So I'm gonna show you all the fruit trees, all the variety of fruits that I have here. Check this out guys, a beautiful pond. This is my coconuts that I'm going to be cutting open for this recipe. It's my little hammock that I hang out in and get the beautiful shades from this almond tree. A little shed over there. This is another little hangout spot, right? This is a little tranquil area that I come to to hang out in the evening. And in the early morning, feed the fish. I just want to show you guys how beautiful this is. Take a look at it, guys. I'm surrounded. 
surrounded by trees all around the pond all around it's like a circle uh, oblong So guys, we got two kinds of bhaji that we're gonna use here. We got some poi bhaji and growing right here. Some chow rai bhaji. So I'm just gonna get a few leaves. Yes guys, this is what chow rai bhaji looks like. Growing, gonna get a few leaves. Nice specimen here. Now we're in the kitchen, we washed everything and get ready to chop it up. Here I'm using a piece of celery stalk that I'm gonna chop finely. Now keep in mind guys, this is my version of kitchery. So I'm using fresh ingredients. Here's our fine leaf thyme. We're just gonna shred that and get about a one tablespoon of fine leaf thyme. Here's a freshly harvested turmeric. I'm just gonna mince that up. Here's a fresh bhaji. This is our chow rai bhaji and tick leaf bhaji, poi bhaji. Gonna cut that up into small pieces as well. We need about a cup and a half of that. Just set it to the side. Now this recipe calls for a lot of garlic. So I'm using about eight, 10 cloves of garlic here that I'm grating. One large onion that I'm gonna finally chop. No. Here's a weary pepper. And for this recipe, to make it even a richer one, I'm going in with two coconuts that I'm gonna milk. And if you notice, I'm saving the water. You can use it in your smoothie or you can drink it just like it as it is full of nutrients so this is how we traditionally grate our coconut and prepare it the wife is demonstrating that the traditional way and if you guys have used coconut milk in your recipes You'll notice a big difference if you use it fresh. Adds another dimension to your food. And we're going in with about two and a half cups of water here that we're just gonna extract the milk with.
Here we managed to extract about two and a half cups of coconut milk here. And we're just gonna set that to the side. Now for our doll or split peas, that's been soaking for about five hours, which makes it a lot easier to cook. We're gonna rinse it off and drain out some of the excess water and head out back to the kitchen, outdoor kitchen here. And we're just gonna saute all our ingredients, all our aromatics and onions and herbs. Just gonna saute that in a little bit of oil. Let it steam and sweat out and get all that ingredients activated. And I'm gonna crush my one weary pepper just for flavor. Not gonna make this a hot dish. As you can see here, now the turmeric is activated. We're going in with one teaspoon of ground jeera or cumin. And we're starting to build our aroma here. Now, going with our dal, our split peas that's been washed. And we're just gonna give that a nice toss and let everything get coated with all these ingredients. And if you guys notice from my cooking, I'm not a big fan of cubes or bullions. I, I try to stay away from the MSG. I know many people have different opinions about MSG. Here we're going in with our washed rice. This is about two cups of parboil brown rice that's been washed. We didn't add any liquid as yet, so I'm just gonna let everything bungee here. Now it's time for our coconut milk. We're going with our two cups and a half of coconut milk. And we're starting to look wonderful here. Look at the bright colors. We're starting to bubble. Give it a good mix. Keep your heat on a medium flame. Guys, this is a simple, easy, quick recipe with lots of flavor. So I do hope you give it a try my way. Now, when the milk start evaporating, leaving all that richness, we're gonna go in with about another two and a half cups of water, just enough to cover the rice. And mix it all well. We add some salt to taste. You guys keep in mind, if you're adding salt to your dishes, do it a little bit at a time. Because remember, you can't take salt out. You can always add more as you need. So go in with a little bit at a time and give it a good mix. And we're coming along well here. Now, because the doll has been soaking for about five hours, makes it easier to cook it's gonna cook in about the same time as the rice. And this is the reason why I soaked it, so everything could cook together. Now we're going with our spinach, our poi bhaji, and our chow rai bhaji. Hey guys, this is what we have in here with our kitchery, some fried fish. Kitchery. Take a look, take a look, take a look. Bubbling away. Oh yeah. Real nice kitchery, boy. Yeah, 
Check it out, guys. Real nice kitchery. Now our pot is coming to an end, and this is the time where we chunky our pot. So we're going with a little bit of oil, cooking oil here. We add our cumin, this is whole cumin that we're gonna brown here. Just a few minutes it takes. And then we're gonna add our garlic. This is about two cloves of garlic here that I added, thinly sliced. And we're gonna allow that to brown. This is called chunking the pot. So for your dal recipe, this is absolutely necessary if you're doing it the traditional way. So we chunk a that, give it a good mix. And we're coming to the end here now. Now if we turn off the heat and we're just gonna let it sit for a few minutes. We're gonna try to retrieve all those pepper. I don't want it to break into the pot. And now we get our fish ready and it's time to plate. Hope you guys like this recipe. Once again, I advise you if you find this interesting to go ahead and subscribe, give me a thumbs up, please like and share. This is our kitchen with fried fish. Simple, easy recipe done right in the backyard. Hope you guys like it. Now that we finished cooking, it's time to eat. Now, a lot of people like their kitchri several different ways. Uh, some like it with the doll all melted. I, I like to see my doll inside. And uh, it's fully cooked, but I like to see it whole. Let's give it a try. So rich. But it's coconut milk very rich so guys hope you like my recipe give me a thumbs up like and share and i'm looking forward to hear from you guys please leave a comment it's caribbean ducks thank you for watching have a blessed day with fried fish and avocado. All the layers, layers of flavor. It's Caribbean duck. Do you like it?